All right, how's everyone doing? So today I got a, a package from Sweetwater from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And um, I actually got a brand new drum set, my very first own personal drum set. I'm gonna do a, a different unboxing for the drum set itself, for the shells, but I wanna do an unboxing for the hardware that I bought. Uh, I bought a stand, uh, a snare stand, a hi-hat stand, some clamps, uh, again, all pro. Uh, so I wanted to do that today. Okay, I uh, pre-opened the box as always. Makes it easier. So we send you a catalog. Cool, sweet water. Send you a thank you. Your receipt. And of course, sweet water candy. I don't like candy. This is like chocolate. Alright, so uh, the snare stand that I got was the Pearl S930. Um, so let me go ahead and unbox this. Okay. It's wrapped like in like in deli paper or like from Mexican. When you go to a carniceria, it's like they just give you some jamón or carnitas. Check it. Sorry for all the noise. Check it. Two pieces. Alright. So here's the top one. Swivel. Locks in place. This obviously opens up. This is the bottom piece. Okay. Pearl. Here we go. Pro S930. S stands for snare. The 930 is the, the series. Okay. There you go. This is the snare stand. Pro S930. I mean, it's it's heavy duty. It's good. I love I love this. I love the actual swivel on it. You know, it doesn't. There's some snare stands or some other models where. It just locks in one pace, but this one you can actually, you know, tilt it back and forth and pick whatever angle you want, and that's pretty pretty nice. Okay, Pro S nine thirty snare stand, okay. very nice. Okay, one piece. And the next one I got was the hi hat stand. This is the H nine thirty again. H stands for hi hat. Nine thirty is the series hi hat stand box. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I mean, they're stands. I mean, stands do some, I mean, it's heavy duty, that's what I like them. And what I try to do is get everything pearl. Okay, the paper wrapping. Okay. Instructions manuals. One, uh, one piece, two piece, and that's it. That's the bottom half. I'll install it right now, real quick. I'll leave that paper on. Okay. Take that out too. Tap it on. Here, we'll put it down. Right or man. Not sure if you can see this, but I'm trying to go as fast as possible. Boom. Boom. This of course goes in here and screws right into the bottom. Got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. 
there you go. The Pro H930 hi hat stand. Awesome. You, obviously, you can adjust different things. You can lock the height of it if you want. Okay. Hi hat obviously goes. Hi hat's going here. Hi hat stand. Plain and simple. H930. Oh, and I have a, a matching pedal with that too. Um, I don't even know which one it is, but very soon. Okay, that's that. And we're out with some clamps. Okay, this is the ADP20 um, drum clamp. Because the kit that I got is the Session Studio Classic, the Ember Mist. And um, that one doesn't have any. The drum kick has no hole or the tom uh, where you can put any any stand for the for the tom. So uh, you have to use separate clamps, separate stands to to hold the toms. But this is the Pro ADP 20 drum clamp. Okay, these loose in here. You gotta find the specific height or whatnot. Clamp it onto any cymbal stand right here. Once you clamp it onto the cymbal stand, do the same thing right here. You put the tom holder. I have tom holders too. I'll show those in a minute. And those go in here. Lock them up and adjust. Okay, but very simple. Very nice. I like these little kind of like grooves in it that doesn't allow you to, to for it to slip. And it's a nice little grip holder. Okay, very, very, very nice. Very sturdy. Tom holders. No, this is yeah. This is the the drum clamp. Okay, well, I got two of them. Two times. Two mounted times, so two clamps. Okay. Um, oh, let me show you the these I didn't get from um, from Sweetwater just because I mean money wise it wasn't gonna it was gonna be cheaper for me to get these elsewhere and these are the older older model um, but but I like them as well. Um, this this these are the Pearl TH 2000 S time holders right five inches by four. Um, these adjust with uh you need a drum key with it but what i like about these is that, again most um the cymbal stands or even time holders is they have a locking me mechanism we have a wing nut or you know there's specific heights that you can only go to but these again you can adjust whichever way you want if you want to hear here or just slightly more you can you can adjust it and it also spins okay the other ones are just fixed they go up down. There's a newer model of this one, uh, the 1030 series, um, which is more expensive, more expensive. But th these work fine. And w when you tighten the the nut, the, the, um, bo I don't have a I don't have a drum key on me, but they both lock in place. Both bottom piece and then this doesn't move, and it's very very uh, very firm. Um, these were way cheaper. I got these on Guitar Center. But I had to drive away it's two different locations that were like 20 miles away. But again, it was still cheaper. And I have two of them. This is the other one. Okay. These are the Pearl TH2000S. These are discontinued. Um, so good luck trying to find any of these. Uh, but I was able to get here, get some here in the Chicagoland area. Okay. Pearl TH2000S time holders. Very, very nice. I actually like the little rubber rubber piece right here. Uh, the newer ones are all just chrome. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I like I like this and I like the feeling, I like the the look. Those are it. Um, along with that, I also got some moon gels. Doesn't really matter, but these are the clear ones. There's a six pack of clear. I, I I would always get the the blue ones. I like and dislike these. I like them because they're really good when it comes to dampening the drums. I dislike them because they get dirty. They get dirty very quickly, and I mean, if you're in a set. And, you know, you're breaking, you know, your sticks are falling apart. And, you know, if you drop one and, you know, you want to put them back. I mean, you really don't have time to go right away and wash it off with warm water. You know, so it just keeps accumulating. So as much as I've tried to take care of these in the past, but they, 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 I was always throw them away after a few months. But for six bucks, seven bucks, I forgot what I paid. It, it, I think it's worth it. They're really, really good. And I like the fact that they're clear. And they're, you know, they're not going to stand out and be a little eyesore when it comes, like, to blue. I guess the only other issue would be, you know, if, if I drop it, it might be too transparent. I won't even be able to find it again. But who knows? I got these moon gels, damper pads, clear. Um, 
Also, I mean, this I should, I'll probably be uh, introducing this also, making a separate video for this. This is the hole cutter from Mom, um, the bass drum O's uh, kick drum cutter. And basically does that. It cuts a hole for, so you can, I mean, for, for mic placement, for better sound. If you want to put a kick port on it, I'm going to be putting a kick port on it. You make your own one because with, with the resonant head that it comes up with my kit, it doesn't have one. So I have to make my own. But I've seen videos of this of you know, that it works pretty well. I'll make my own as well. Um, but this is again the bass drummos hole cutter, and you can adjust different sizes and whatnot when it comes to uh, what. Uh, see, and it's pretty sharp because it already cut through the through the paper. Um, so I'll make a separate video on that. Um, but when it comes to hardware, that that's that's it. That's what I got for Sweetwater. Uh, like I said, I'll be making a separate video when it comes to the drum kit itself, uh, the the Pearl Session Studio Classic. Um, so again, I got the snare stand, the S930, the hi hat stand, the H930. I got the Pearl um, drum clamps, ADP 20s, the Pearl Tom holders. Uh, TH-2000S are discontinued. And again, I'm going to show you. Here is the snare stand. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Heavy duty. I, I love it. And here is the hi-hat stand. Again, nice weight to it. It's not, you know, rinky-dinky. And it, uh, it should work well. Uh, I'll be posting pictures probably of the drum set once it's set up and whatnot. But I'll be making another video. This is it. Thanks for watching. Um, hope that helps in any way. Have any questions? Let me know. Thanks.